Hi Jupiter Farms, my name is Derek and I'm the one that's been posting about Jada the missing cat on the social media. I'm also the one that put up these flyers and um, put these postcards or brochures in your mailbox. The intention of this video is uh, to get all the information in one area and make it easy for everyone um, to listen to it because it's easier to listen to a video than to read a long uh, Facebook post. Not a lot of people have time for that. Thank you for everyone who's been praying for Jada and, you know, checking your security cameras at nighttime and uh, commenting on the Facebook group, texting me leads. Thank you for everyone that's continuing to search for her and uh, staying strong, even though it's been a little bit of a while, a while since, you know, it's starting to become longer since uh, it's starting to come. Anyways, it's, yeah. Uh, I really do appreciate the help. It's been immensely uh, stressful knowing, not knowing where she is. And um, I take a lot of responsibility for Jada missing because I left the door open when I was cleaning and the owners were gone. So it's not even the owner's fault, it's my fault. So um, we all make mistakes and this one was a big one for me, but it's still been very painful. And I'll feel better when we know that Jada is safe. So, so anyone that's been helping, I really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. If anyone wants me to text pictures of Jada, you can text me anytime, 561-628-1219. If you find any leads from Jada when you're on the internet, uh, scrolling, looking at posts or any website and animal control and care, shelters, you're welcome to text me. Um, I had one person say that they were worried it would bring false hope. No, uh, that's the only way for us to know if it is Jada. So it's always worth an investigation and I'm always happy to look at it. I really am, any time of the day. And it's really easy for me to send you pictures because I have them all organized in my phone. So don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, Jada's chip number is activated. So we're hoping if she you know, is brought to a vet or a shelter or animal control that they'll scan it. But for any reason, that the chip isn't working and we know it is, be we know it should be because we, we, we paid for it to be activated as soon as um, we found out that she was missing. Uh, from time to time, if you have extra time and feel inspired, please look on these websites for us. I will be too when, when I have time and uh, the extra eyes is very, help very helpful. So Jada is female and um, she's spayed and she has this really interesting mane. Um, and she has a really bushy tail that kind of looks like a feather duster. Uh, she's mostly white on the bottom and near the sides of her butt. Uh, and she has this splotted pattern around the ears and on the back of her and on the top of her tail. And her legs are white. Um, she's been an indoor cat her entire life and probably doesn't have a lot of outdoor skills. So we're really hoping that one of the neighbors um, picked her up and just hasn't had the time or didn't think to get her chip scanned. And also hoping that um, they, haven't ha they haven't looked at the Facebook page. We're hoping that one of the neighbors has her. So with all these flyers I put out, all these um, postcards and with your help, if, if a neighbor comes to mind that you want to let them know that Jada's, Jada's been missing since September 21st, 2021, around 156th Street. It's been long enough that she could be anywhere from maybe 150th to 159th. Um, we're not, anything is possible and whatever lead really want to, to hear it. If uh, one of your neighbors told you that they found a cat around September 29th or any time after that, um, please encourage her to get the chip scanned. Maybe it's one of those situations where she doesn't actually have the cat in the house, but has been feeding the cat who is on her property um, or his property. If you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to me. Um, and once again, all this information is on the flyer. And if you want more pictures, you can text me or go to the Facebook page, 561-628-1219. And honestly, thank you so, so, so much for all the help. 
I really could not do it without y'all. There's just too many places to look. Um, and it's nice to know that the community has been supporting me and fixing this mistake. So thank you.